How can I scan an implant without using ScanBody? This question was posted by a user of October of 2023. This user wanted to know how to scan an implant without a scan body. I wanted to answer this question back then, but I didn't have this webinar at the time. I'm glad to, I can share my thoughts on this question today. The question was not in English, but it's a very good and important question. Simply put, this question is concerned with an abutment level scan. I have given lectures on this topic in Korea, so I will go into some detail. So, today I will briefly introduce the concept of abutment level scan and show you how I apply this method to my practice. It's easy to think that the scan bodies are required for implant scanning according to conventional notion. When I got a scanner for the first time, I also thought scan bodies are mandatory for implant scanning. So, I ordered a large number of scan bodies for various types of implants. One waste of money it turns out to be. When I think about it now, scan bodies are only a component used when this level scan is required. For your scanner, I mainly use a stock of Ottoman to make processes. If you are already comfortable with using stock of Ottoman, you can use stock of Ottoman as scanning component. So, I would like to advise users who are new to scanners not to purchase many scan bodies at the beginning. In my clinic, around 80% of implant scans are performed without using scan bodies. When you are using stock of Ottoman scanning, you don't need to connect and disconnect components on that scan body. Doing this will save you time and make your digital workflow more efficient. To explain the concept of open level scan, I will introduce a related article. I have briefly summarized the mechanism of open level scan with some keywords. First, scan frequently use stock open sizes and then save it to the library. Then by later loading and matching on the library of the same size, the entire shape can be restored even if only a part of it was scanned. This process is called merging, and I will explain it again in this case. These are pictures from an article to explain the process. When I used the stock abutment, I would consider making the processes with substantial margin for ideal events profile. To do that, I have to get the margin when you take the equation. This was hard to do when I used the conventional method, but it has become much easier after I applied the different method in my practice. I recommend this method because you can find the margin even when in the rotate below subsidiary margin. As you can merge the scan data with the previous data of Star Watchman, the library. This way, you can make the crown with a clear margin that is very accurate, so there is no need for adjustment. This is a method that I use frequently when making a finger implant crown. I really like it because it's so simple. Now I will tell you why I think abutment level scans are more efficient. When I was new to digital scanning, I thought the digital method takes a longer time. You might feel the same way. If you use a scan body, you have to connect and take an X-ray to confirm if the connection is correct. The preparation for using scan bodies is almost the same as setting for the conventional method. So, if you are not skilled yet, the digital method may take longer time than the conventional method. But if you've already taken the pre scan on the day of surgery, you just need to record the abutment, and you can finish the abutment level scan in just one minute. This is how I save time and patients satisfied because they have never experienced anything this fast. I strongly recommend that you use the abutment level scan method, especially for single implant cases. The secret of process innovation is very simple. So first, just take the free scan on the day of surgery and you can utilize the waiting time after anesthesia. On the day of the final scan, you can solely focus on the target and just need to record the anti rotate surface of the stock abutment. This quick and easy process will scan patient coming about a minute 
which wow the patient. Personally, I prefer using tissue level type implant in post single implant cases. This is because there is a very low chance of stool loosening and the bottom of the process is very simple. Simply connect the star optimum that matches the platform size, scan it, and cement the processes made in a shape favorable to oral hygiene. There is almost no need for adjustment. Once it is placed in the appropriate location, all you need to do is an abutment level scan. I treat most single process tooth cases in this way. For phone level type implant, the abutment level selective process is a little more complicated. The depth of implant placement and the immersive profile of the processes must be considered together. To choose an appropriate size within the patient mouse, I use a process planning kit to minimize trial and error in the process. Because there is a lower packing at the collection area, it does not fall off easily. You can find the appropriate size of the sub abutment by trying out two sizes. After trying out two sizes, only when it is determined that it is difficult to make an appropriate process with the sub abutment. In that case, I use a scan body to create a custom abutment. In this case, Two implants were each made into a single prosthesis using stop of one. Would a better appearance have been achieved if custom water had been used? I don't think so. Especially if there is any miscommunication between the dentist and the physician. I think that when creating a custom ultimate, the dental technician had to make quite a few important decision making, which is not something I'm always comfortable with because it adds uncertainty and a tense off. However, using a star abutment allows dentists to invest more time choosing the abutment, and then the dental technician can begin work after the initial setup. In this way, a prosthesis will better reflect the dentist's concept. This is the most important reason why I prefer star abutment over custom abutment. So, during surgery, I like to try on a star abutment while connecting right away to see whether I can create an appropriate prosthesis. I would like to include a procedure called the one over one time protocol because we don't need to change the abutment once we connect it during the surgery. If I choose an abutment in an appropriate size, I can immediately identify and see that something is wrong. And sometimes I correct the position of the fixture if we need it and can achieve better surgical and prosthetic vision. Another advantage of doing this is that it saves a lot of chair time and simplifies the process in terms of workflow. Let's take a look at how convenient it is to the example. This is a case where immediate implant placement was performed to treat a picture as a canine. As you can see in the picture, after obtaining good stability using the paper body implant, the star abutment was connected. If the abutment is connected during surgery, it can be done more accurately without mischief because there is no interfering tissue around it. You can see that prosthetic component was connected precisely to picture. So, it was unnecessary to disconnect it in order to replace the custom abutment. I love this workflow pattern, especially for maxillary incisors or canines because it flows very naturally. It can maximize aesthetic outcome because there was a minimal intervention, therefore a better healing process. If you compare the pre-op state to the three month post-op state, you can see that the phasing surface volume is very stable. This resulted from immediate provisionalization process because it provides support and prevents the tissue from collapsing. When you compare this with the conventional implant method, Zero technology makes the process much easier because we just need to obtain and modify data at the change site. In particular, because the abutment level scan method was used, I think it was much simpler and more convenient than the scan body method. At my clinic, single implant and two unit implant processes are mostly fabricated with sub abutment. As you can see in the picture, 
Even the 6 minute bridge case can be treated using the 1 1 reverse scan method with Saga Watchman. In some bridge cases, we may make custom Watchman, but we prioritize using Saga Watchman with some modification. Of course, if we want to cover most cases using Saga Watchman, it's necessary to place the implant in an appropriate position. Actually, I really put a lot of time and effort into finding the right placement. It might seem like a hassle, but it's definitely worth taking time to do because we can provide a better environment for implant longevity. So far, I have explained how we use an open level scan in our clinic. We hope that many of you will love this method. Thank you.